give me a kiss to build a dream on In my imagination will thrive upon that kiss mm, sweetheart Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. First and foremost, I apologise for the, well, previous couple episodes, except the first of those two episodes didn't even manage to make it into an episode. It was just sort of barely salvageable footage. Um, I apologise basically for the freezing and other shenanigans that were going on. Um, I believe... The cause behind that was my external hard drive becoming a bit faulty. I have since replaced it. I am using a new external hard drive. Um, however, it's a little slower than the old one, so I'm, uh, we'll see what kind of effect that has. I'm hoping that's the problem, and it's not a problem with the XTORI or the codec I'm using, because the XTORI and the particular codec I happen to be using are... Well, they're pretty darn useful, honestly, and I'd rather not have to ditch either of them because uh, it would completely change the way I have to put my videos together, basically. So, um, we'll, we'll see. I've got a frame counter on the bottom right of my screen, which you guys can't see, but it's actually showing me the the frame rate of the video that's being recorded rather than the frame rate in the game, which should let me know if we get any freezes in the future, um, basically. And uh, that, that, that should allow us to, to avoid any, uh, any of that sort of rubbish in the future. If I notice that the frame rate for the video starts dropping, then I can stop the recording and try and figure out what's going on with it. But anyway, here we are. We're outside of Rivet City. We spent the bulk of yesterday and today exploring the place, checking it out, seeing everything there was to see, which was admittedly quite a bit. Rivet City is huge. Um, but now we're bored, so we're going to go shoot some stuff. Um, and, well, for, we've been given a, a job to go retrieve the Declaration of Independence from the National Archives, slap bang in the middle of the Washington DC ruins. Not entirely sure how determined we are to actually do that, but it's an, it's a goal, I suppose, to work towards. Um, the main thing is that, one way or another, we want to get back into the wasteland proper. And uh, I don't fancy going back this way. Um, unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see it, because it, the, the recording was buggered. But we know for a fact that um, there is a super mutant gargantuan over here somewhere by the Jefferson Memorial. And over here somewhere is a super mutant behemoth, which we caught a glimpse of in the ruins. Thankfully, we didn't manage to uh, alert it to our presence, and so we were able to sneak by unnoticed. However, this way back here, that's not a journey I'm willing, I, I re really, really want to repeat at all anytime soon. That's not just, ugh, no, it's not happening. Too dangerous. Too dangerous, dog meat. Um, if we get a bit closer down here, you might actually be able to see the, the gargantuan. Uh, provided he's still lurking around there. Um, but suffice to say, sneaking past that lot, all the super mutants down there, there's hordes of the buggers, by the way. Sneaking past all them was pretty terrifying, frankly, and I don't want to go back that way at all. So the only alternative we have is either to swim, which isn't happening, <laughs> let, me, let me say that right now. Um, with FWE, the, radiate, the, the radiation level of the water is much, much uh, higher than it is in the vanilla game. Um, it's not wrong, one rad per second in there, it's probably something more like eight rads per second. You, seriously, you seriously, seriously do not want to go for a swim in that shit, it's nasty. Um, even with Radex in an environment suit. It's just, no, don't want to do it. So the only alternative we have is to take the subway system, try and explore the abandoned metros and metro tunnels and see if we can't try and make our way back through brief stints of underground and above ground travel back through the DC ruins, either to Georgetown West over here, this metro station that's apparently marked on our map, or 
to GNR, actually. Or all the National Archives, although that's less of a priority. Really, our main focus is to either make it to Georgetown West so we can escape back to Megaton, or make it to GNR. One of the two. Um, and if we see any super mutants, unless they're directly in our way, I'm going to be trying to avoid them, because super mutants are big and nasty and scary and dangerous. And... To be quite honest, they're really not worth the effort most of the time. I mean, you, you, the amount of bullets you have to pump into those bastards for them to die, and the amount of sort of loot you get from them after killing them really doesn't make it worth the, the effort, honestly. So I think it's far smarter to just avoid them. Hello, Garrett. Well, look what the wasteland dragged in today. What can I do for you? All right, you're a fast travel person. Um... Basically, kind of like the carts in Skyrim, FWE adds these guys. Um, however, I don't really like using them if I can help it. I like using the bike, getting the bike repaired and doing that sort of thing. But even then, I don't use, like using the bike in certain areas, to travel to certain areas where it doesn't make sense you could get a bike through. Um, and with this, it's kind of like, well, it's not much better than just fast traveling with your pit boy. The only difference is you have to pay some money and then you get magically transported there. But the thing is, you're not going on a cart or, or you know, a silt strider like in Morrowind or something like that where you're relatively safe. Yes. Okay. You want to stand on your table? Fine. Good for you. Weirdo. Um, I, th I don't think it makes much, make, makes much uh, sense, honestly. In fact, if you're traveling with a bunch of pack Brahmin like that, it would make you more of a target to get shot at than if you were traveling by yourself, frankly. So I turn not to use those guys. Unless I'm desperate. I'll see if I'm desperate. I'll just use the Pit Boy fast travel for the, for the map. So, but ultimately, what I want to do is get that bike fixed that we found outside Megaton. Now, there's a bunch of super mutants over there. Look, hello, there's one right there. Big green ugly bastards. And there is a super mutant gargantuan down here somewhere. Hanging around near the Jefferson Memorial. Last and damn it, I'm not going to be able to see him, am I? <laughs> either that or he's wandered off. Uh, but either way, he can't have gone far. Um, and uh, we're not going back that way, basically. I was going to try and sneak down there and see if I could give you guys a glimpse of. Oh, but there's a super mutant there. Super mutant infantry with no gargantuan in sight, which kind of makes me a little less uneasy. Le le less, well, it makes me more uneasy, is what I should be saying. Um, yep, 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 I'm screwing up my commentary, as per usual. Failing to form correct sentences. Nothing new there. It's because I, really, I always record these episodes late at night. <laughs> Maybe I should actually do it during the day for once when I'm actually vaguely alert. Anyway, um, might account for some of my particularly bad scatterbrainedness um, when it comes to my gameplay. Aside from just the general thing of you being, of you trying to re record commentary and play a game at the same time being a bit tricky. I don't know what it is. I seem to be exceptionally bad at just sort of missing really obvious stuff when I'm recording. I'm totally fine when I'm playing alone, honest. Like, I know, you know, I know it sounds like I'm making excuses now, but I swear to God, I am, um, when I'm playing this game by myself, or playing New Vegas by myself, or Skyrim, or whatever, it's totally different. Totally different. Right then, anyway, let's get in the game. Let's think, think about what we're doing. Sort of wandering around randomly while talking, right? There's nothing down that way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, it just leads to the edge of the map. Although, you, I kind of want to go see anyway. I mean, you never know. There could be like a... There could be like a... I don't know. Like a bunker right at the edge of the map over there at the end of this street full of mini-nukes and <laughs> <laughs> missile launchers and stuff. You never know. Uh, I guess not. Oh, no, no. Kind of, does it go a bit further than this? Or is it just really dodgy, rocky terrain that's difficult to... No, I don't think that really goes anywhere at all. Right. Screw that. Never mind that rubbish. Stick to the plan. Use the metro system. Now, we've not really been in the metro system. 
the proper metro system yet. We went down into some of the subway tunnels uh, near Greyditch and dealt with some fire ants. I thought I had insect noise then. <laughs> Whatever, it must have been a random sound effect. Um, we dealt with some fire ants down there, but we haven't been into the real subway system. As in the, the, the main network of DC tunnels that are all sort of connected up and stuff and run under the DC ruins. Because that's going to be a different affair altogether. Mainly, and out, this is out of character knowledge, mainly because I know for a fact that there are going to be hordes, and I really mean hordes, of ghouls down there. There's going to be raiders and all sorts down there, probably super mutants as well, but the main thing I'm worried about is ghouls, because Fallout Wanderers Edition... Oh, no, 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 I take that back, not Fallout Wanderers Edition. Mart's Mutant Mod comes with a feature called Feral Ghoul Rampage. Now, I mentioned this at the very, very beginning of the Let's Play, very briefly. A lot of people probably won't remember it, but... It has this thing called Feral Ghoul Rampage. And Feral Ghoul Rampage... basically multiplies Feral Ghoul spawns... by a shit ton. Pardon my French. But it does. Um, so where there was once one two ghouls in a specific spot there are probably now five or ten ghouls that sounds like I'm exa exaggerating but it really probably isn't that much of an exaggerating exaggeration sorry which makes me particularly nervous actually about going down here I'm hoping we can probably sneak past most of them or something because I don't have the weaponry to mow down hundreds of ghouls um, but there it is um, oh, and another feature of Mart's Mutant Mod is that ghouls, once they've been shot, can occasionally, there's a random chance they'll get back up again because their, you know, their body regenerates really fast on account of them being so completely and utterly irradiated and um, warped by the FEV virus. Um, so there's that too to worry about. Anyway, stop babbling and go down here. So we want to try and head north. I should have paid more attention to that subway map, actually, now I think about it, but never mind. There'll probably be one in here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's also going to be really dark down here because of the mods I have installed, so... <laughs> There's that too. Oh dear. I think the shotgun's probably the best one for the job right now. I could, what I could really do with it is, is a, a minigun, honestly. <laughs> a flamethrower, something like that. Right. Ah, yes, yeah, I, did, I, I told you there was another one of these down here somewhere. Right. So we're at... Anacostia Crossing? I think. Yes, Anacostia Crossing Station. So we need to head... Apparently this doesn't go anywhere else, so other than Museum Station. So we need to get to Museum Station. Then we need to get to Metro Central. And then... We kind of have a bit of a choice. Um, Mar yeah, Maracle Station's not on here, is it? Oh yeah, it is. It's on the blue line, but unfortunately the blue line isn't connected to the white line. So there's no... no well, they, in they intersect there. But... I don't think you can... Unless there's maybe a maintenance tunnel or something that we could get through. I don't think we can actually get between these. Um, otherwise what I would try and do is get to Metro Sentinel, then go to Foggy Bottom, and then try and get through some sort of maintenance tunnel to L'Enfant Plaza, and then down here to Falls Church or Marigold eventually. Because that brings us out near Greyditch, which is pretty close to Megaton. Yeah, I see. So there's Farragut West Metro Station over there, there's Georgetown West. How the heck do you get to Georgetown from here? DuPont, Tenley Town, Friendship, Vernon Square, Abernathy, no, that's not a foggy bomb, Arlington, Platts, Arlington. Arlington. That rings a bell somehow. Oh, never mind. Georgetown West. 
GNR Building Plaza. Unfortunately, I don't know which is the nearest to GNR Building Plaza. Maybe one of these, DuPont, Tenley Town. It looks like it might be a good bet. Mm. You know what, i tell you what. What we'll do is... First of all, I'm going to see. I'm going to go to Foggy Bottom, and we're going to see if there's a maintenance tunnel somewhere along between Foggy Bottom and Arlington. If there isn't, we'll go back to Metro Central, and we'll head north to Dupont. That's the plan. Okay, so Museum Station, Metro Central, Foggy Bottom. Then, if that doesn't work, backtrack to Metro Central, then north to Dupont. Right. Okay. Okay. Whew. It's a plan. It's a plan. However, dear mother of God, it is dark down here. It doesn't help that that's a complete dead end, but still. <laughs> trying to figure out what's a decent level of brightness on this. Because the brighter it gets, the, the you, you tend to lose details, I think. I could just put my pit boy light on, and I honestly I would prefer to put my pit boy light on, but we're also trying to be sneaky here. We don't know what's down. Okay, now we do know what's down here, and it's Raiders! Okay. Oh, come on. Oh boy, there's quite a few of them, isn't there? And I tried to lead the target and failed miserably. Okay. Alright, another one down. They have no idea where I am, do they? You'd think they'd be able to see the muzzle flash, but I guess not. Jesus, how many are there? Well, that's a pit dog. Oh. Okay, two headshots for him. Bloody hell. Two headshots, that's nuts. Those guys are tough. How am I, how am I doing for ammo? Oh, I've only got another 33 bullets after this magazine. Shit. I'm running a bit lower on 5.56 ammo than I thought it was. Where the hell did I get all that 5.56 ammo from in the first place, anyway? I'm struggling to remember that, to be honest. Right, compass isn't showing any enemies. You might think the compass is cheating, I suppose, and it kind of is maybe in a way, but I like to think of it as using the pit boys sensors or whatever, or something like that, you know, just a motion tracking type thing. Because the, you know, the Pip Boys in Fallout 1 and 2, actually you could install a motion sensor module on them to show on your minimap where enemies were, I believe, if I recall correctly. I didn't usually get it till right, right towards the end of the game because they were expensive and rare, but um, you could do that. So look at this guy, he had an assault rifle and didn't have the good... I didn't have the common decency to pack any ammo for it for me to loot. Damn his eyes. Never mind. I've got plenty of shotgun shells already. I need sniper bullets. There we go. That's two. Just reimburse me for some of the rounds I wasted on you assholes. Right, you know what? I think we're good for now. I'm going to switch the light on. Because that, that night vision is great. Honestly, it is, but... Uh, we can get very claustrophobic, we'll just put it that way. Stim pack, nice. 10mm pistol, no, not interested. Really not interested, I've got plenty of 10mm pistols. Did I miss every anyone? Molotov cocktail, thank you. Curiosity, can I use the sword off shotgun to repair mine? It can in theory, just not because just not right now because I have crappy repair skill. 
fine, good to know. What's my carrying capacity like? Not good. I'm going to have to start chugging booze soon. Why is it, how is it so bad? Is it just because... Ah, oh, it's because I'm carrying extra clothes, aren't I? I'm carrying a bloody suit of combat armor now in addition to the armored vault suit. So, that's one downside of the combat armor, I suppose. It is pretty heavy. Right, museum station. Let's not get too sidetracked here, although where there be raiders, they usually be loot. Jets. It weighs almost nothing, so I guess I'll take it. I think we're good for booze. Mentats. Vending machine, bottle caps. Don't really need Nuka Cola, honestly, though. I'm really looking for ammo, possibly grenades, explosives. Mostly ammo, though, and stim packs. Pugilism Illustrated. All right. Anything over here? Southbound to the station? Mm. Yeah, that just goes off the map, southbound, so we want northbound. Although, wait a minute. We came from We came from this direction, so where does Where does this side turn up? Provide presumably yeah, we can get this way. Oh, you know what? There might be raids down here. Never mind, I'll just shotgun them in the face if there are any. Oh, hello. Metro terminal locked average. Hang on a minute, do I have any metro tickets? Because I'm screwed if I don't. <laughs> um, I don't, right? I don't want to get fried by the robot, so... Doctor, pre war money. Mm, my video frame rate just dropped there. I noticed it went down to about 15 frames a second. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna need to drink some booze because I'm overweight now, but I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna go check if, if that was a problem on the video because if it was, then obviously my hard drive was not the problem in the first place, and there's something more sinister going on, dog meat. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, I just checked the video, loaded it up in Sony Vegas to make sure it was okay, and there wasn't a single freeze on the entire thing from start to finish. Which is good, I guess I was just being paranoid, it looks like, cross fingers, touch wood, the, um, the, new, the new external hard drive solved the problem. Which is jolly good news, frankly. I like the new external hard drive better, actually. On account of the fact that it is smaller physically. Um, like, it's still, it, it's the same size memory wise it's a terabyte external hard drive but the physical size of the unit is smaller and it doesn't need to plug into a wall socket to actually run you just plug it in with the USB and you're good to go um, which is much much more convenient and it also means I have an extra terabyte of hard drive space so I can probably start putting games on my other external provided it works properly um, which will be good because that will mean shorter loading times so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for booze. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I've become addicted to beer. <laughs> is it beer specifically or is it alcohol in general? I guess we'll have to find out. Um, but that's quite funny. All right, fine, we're addicted to beer. Maybe I should grab, go back and grab some of it then. Right after we deal with you. Uh oh. Shotguns in a bit of a state, apparently. Oh god, we got lots of friends. Have a grenade. Is 
Someone is shooting a grease gun down here. I can hear it. Oh my god. Dog meat's going on a rampage by the sounds of it. I'm not sure what killed that one. The grenade or I pro probably the grenade. Right, are you all dead? Please all be dead. Don't know where dog meat is, we'll we'll find him in a bit. Or he'll find us more likely. That was a wait a minute. Just a what now I'm confused. Yeah, there it there's the grease gun. Nice, but oh, weapon mod kit scope. Oh yeah. Look at what have we got that we could put scope on? <laughs> oh, no, you could no, no, no. You're not putting a scope on an M1 Garand as awesome as it would be. I should really hotkey that now. I think about it, but whatever. Um, five. Do we have? We don't have a number five. You shall now be number five. And now I'm. Getting odd flashbacks to the prisoner. Um, that's a pretty cool rifle, actually. Although, for the minute, I'd rather stick with this. Good old Ithaca. Lovely shotgun now that I've got the sound fixed for it. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's try and do as speedy a looting of this place as we possibly can. Don't really want to waste time. And honestly, uh, sections like this where I'm just running around looting stuff, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm considering just cutting out altogether, just editing them out. Yep, dog me is unconscious. Get up, you lazy bastard. Um, because looting is boring, frankly, to watch. I, I think so, anyway. Um, I don't know. Some people like watching it, because they like to keep up to date on it, like exactly what equipment you've got and stuff like that. Um, at least that's what people have said to me before. And that sort of thing. But, I don't know. Feedback, guys, I guess. Um, do you like watching the scavenging bits when you when, when someone's playing this game? Or would you rather I just, you know, edited me running around looting, filing cabinets, filing cabinets for example, out and then I'll just come back once it's all done and I'll tell you if I found anything interesting. That might be a better idea, but for now I'll, I'll, I'll just keep going. Um, I don't know why I'm bothering to loot fighting cabinets. Honestly, you never find anything that good in them. But then again, it's always the one that you don't bother to loot that's got a minigun in it. Well, that was minigun ammo. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. No. I'm a bit lost now, I'll be honest. We looted you, didn't we? Yeah. What about you? Yep. Yep. Let's see. Bottle cap. Alright. Bottle caps are always good. Since they're so bloody hard to come by in this game. I it's kinda crazy actually, like the the difference in the economy between this and New Vegas. The the, the way the way it is like in in this game, to be honest with you, is mostly because of Fallout Wonders Edition, to be fair. Um but it, it's it I, I, I like it in the sense that it actually makes sense because when you play in New Vegas and you've got to the point where I am now in Fallout 3 in New Vegas, you've got to say, well, what level am I? Level six in New Vegas, right? You've probably got a fair amount of money, maybe maybe two, three thousand caps, something like that. Um, whereas in this, uh, I've what have I currently got? Four hundred and forty-five caps. And to me, that makes a degree of sense because the Mojave in New Vegas is sort of more developed. Civilization is coming back to life again there. It has a healthier economy. Hell, it has different types of currency, for good God, goodness sake. It has, you know, Legion Denariuses and NTR dollars and that sort of thing. Um, you know. 
Oh, right, okay, here's the door to the right. Why? Okay, that wasn't quite as confusing. I was like, what the hell? Did we just end up in a completely different subway station? Um, and we came through there. Right, anyway, yeah, so... Being much richer in that game makes sense to me, honestly. I think money would be easier to come by in a situation like that, whereas here... Like, you have a, you have 200 bottle caps, you're rich. <laughs> 200 bottle caps won't buy you a decent gun in New Vegas, on the other hand. Seward Square. Seward Square. I don't think we need to be in Seward Square. I really don't. It's probably just full of super mutants anyway. Let's get back on track. We need to get to Museum Station. So that's northbound. Northbound to Museum Station. This platform. Museum of American History and Monuments. Museums. So Museum Station. Is that going to be... The National Archives, it might be close to it. That seems vaguely hopeful to me. Uh oh, can we actually get that? We can. What the? Where is the? Why is there? Oh, there are lights running down here. Also, I'm going to go ahead and switch to night vision instead of the pit boy light. We're in uncharted territory here, really. Have something a bit more medium range like this. Good grief. If there's, if there's any mines down here in this darkness, I'm probably not going to see them. Is this. What is this? Right, I'm going to risk the light. Okay, a couple of generators. Dead end. Okay. As long as I'm, I'm as long as I could, I, I'm, I'm aware I didn't leave anything behind. That's all I need to know. Whew. Okay, it's just an oil, but it's an oil drum. You bumped into an oil drum. Calm down. <laughs> it did maybe jump a little bit there. I'm going to be honest. What the heck have we got here? Uh oh. Please tell me there's another way. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, is there another... I don't know what you call it, a lane? Another tunnel, I guess. Crap. Um, not good, not good. Can we get down here? Oh boy. It's northbound to Museum Station, except northbound isn't going anywhere. And uh, Wait, no, that's southbound. What the hell am I doing? That's... The sign said it was this way. Don't look at me like that. That's northbound. herp a derp Right. <clears throat> Although while we're here... Where is... There you are. Apparently I'm going to need as much of that as I can get. Um... Since I'm now addicted to beer. <laughs> um, that looks like a dead end there. That looks like a big pile of rubble. Okay, so this is the way forward. This might be the less dangerous route back home so far, but it's certainly a much creepier and uncomfortable and unpleasant. Not a fan of the Metro dog meat. I mean, as a player, I freaking love it. It's great. But, uh, I think Jess is probably hating it. She's paranoid when she's in broad daylight. Let alone. Oh, Christ. Down. Here. I'm probably about to die, by the looks of things. That is a lot of raiders that suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Yes, I killed her. You bloody coward. Come back here. Oh, God. Head injuries for the lose. Where did you go? You little shit. It's a pit dog. I don't want to leave a pit dog. Sneaking up behind me. Once I think he's run off. Whoa, he's really going for it, isn't he? Mother of God. Oh, <laughs> I just saw him going up the escalator. He's out of here. 
Or maybe I'll just leave him to it then, I guess. How, hold on. Okay, crippled chest. Crippled head. Am I still in combat? Probably. Yeah. It's a bit of first aid, just gonna have to do it then. Whew. Situations like that, I mean, anything, I should just use bats. I should just wimp out and use bats because. Alright, great, now I'm out of combat. I could have just gone a bit further down the tunnel and then fixed my head up. Damn it. Look at that. Um, how many stim packs do I have? Can I afford to waste one? 13. Oh, I'll just regret it if I don't. No, I, I, I want to just repair. I just want to use it on an injured limb, not a. Damn it, never mind. I don't want to. I want to heal an already. Because I don't think you can just use a stim pack on an injured limb to heal it. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see, it's done nothing. Um, there's a radar over there. <laughs> I'm loading again just because I don't want to waste the stim pack, but yeah, you know. I'm just going to deal with it. That was a nice shot. I don't say so myself. Considering I was using iron sights rather than a scope. In the dark. Alright, you pieces of sh- Oh, beer withdrawal. Wow, that's a thing, apparently. <laughs> no, it's alcoholism, right? Okay, it's not specifically beer, even though it says beer withdrawal, which is pretty hilarious. Um... <laughs> Beer withdrawal. <laughs> oh dear. I need to check what that actually does next time instead of just drinking the beer straight away. Uh, right. Grenades, thank you. Uh oh. Whoa! Bloody hell. Oh, he just blew up one of the friggin' generators. Oh my god! I should have moved. I'm a dumbass and I didn't move. No, I don't want to... Right, am I out of combat yet? Small amount of health to recover room, learn by performing first aid. Oh, whatever. Left arm. I need to get the arm fixed. I'm so screwed if I have a crippled arm. Crippled legs I can deal with. Crippled chest, not an issue. Crippled head, even, I can probably just about deal with, even though it's annoying. Fuck him, though. Seriously. Hanging around at the back there and waiting. I can just reach him through here, apparently. Another AK set of 4 SU. Nice. I, uh... I'll take it for now, but... It's the first thing to go if I get... Over the carrying capacity limit. Alright, dog, let's go. What am I doing for ammo? Oh, I've got loads of bullets for this, apparently. Sweetness. Museum station! Awesome! Famous last words. <laughs> what have we got here? Generator in there, do not stand next to... To mall outpost. Alright then. Might to assume this mall outpost might be friendly. What the? Come on! Great. I'm just. When in doubt. Blow everything up. I think they're all dead. Right, okay. Phew! What have we got? Shotgun shells. 
Mm, more useless rubbish, honestly. How did... Oh, man, I can't believe I missed so many headshots then. That was bad. After that almost perfect one I pulled off earlier as well. Jeez. Uh-oh. Okay, that was better. <laughs> Problem with RH iron sights is that it's a little iffy sometimes when it comes to actually how accurate the iron sights are. It's not like in New Vegas. It's, I mean, it's just a mod at the end of the day. It's not built into the game. So it's a bit iffy sometimes, depending on the weapon. What the... I can't read any of that. What did you have for me? Scorpion machine pistol. Oh, no, get lost. Dog, you coming? Oh, God. Oh. Waiting around for you. I should really... Not be spamming the pit boy light because it's gonna get me killed. Fuck me. Right, hello. One down. Two down? I think so. Three down, I hope. This is such a good rifle, man. Yeah, like, seriously, like, if you manage to actually... Thank you for joining us, dog mate. If you actually manage to hit anything with it, it's a bloody fantastic gun. Right, now would be a good time to... Yep, yeah, there's one right there. Okay, next time don't shoot with the thermal vision on, because you can't see shit. Apparently neither can he, though. He's running away. Sort of does and doesn't suit me at the same time. Better not be going off to get more friends. Oh! He's flanking me instead. Okay, fine. Okay, try not to spam the bullets quite so much. Am I crippled anywhere new? No. Although I am cl practically... I, I, the next shot I take will cripple me somewhere. My limbs are that bad. Oh no, fuck off. Railway spikes. I need something better than that. Yeah. Missile. Whatever. Conductor for the outcasts. They're so bloody heavy though, conductors. They really are. But until I find, start finding large caches of laser and plasma weapons lying about the place. Conductors are going to have to do, I think. Okay, so this we're in Museum Station right now. Next one we want to get to is Metro Central, I believe. Chinese assault rifle. What the balls? Who says that? Oh, is that? Did I shoot that out of his hand earlier? I think I might have done. Hello. Yeah, he went all the way around here, and I didn't see him because it was so dark. Then I started beaming up that way, and kapow. Nearly did me in. Lots of 9 times 19 millimeter. Good. Easy machine pistol. Tempting. I've already got a Sten gun though. Like that. Except better. I believe it's in better condition. Slightly better condition. Let's just check that. 
Yeah, it is. Um, I should really try to use that, actually, in close quarters a bit if I can. So, uh, I don't have a lot of ammo for it. I have enough for probably about one panicky close quarters scenario where I waste all of those bullets in probably one go. I've also got this, though. And I've got the M1 Garand, which... I'm very quickly becoming quite attached to. The only downside to it is that it fires such rare ammunition. In fact, it fires Stengen gun ammo. Sorry, not Stengen gun ammo. What the hell am I talking about? Lewis gun ammo. But honestly, this I kind of prefer to the Lewis gun. It's proved a little more useful. There is always the M14, which is not too dissimilar to this actually as well. It uses 7.62 NATO rounds. Right, I'm curious, where does this pop out then? Whoa, I don't know. This probably pops out near the museum, since it's called Museum Station and all. I mean, just, just to hazard a guess, but... Really, em a locked, empty ammunition box. Screw you too, game. 14 millimeter rounds, bloody hell, that's, those are big bullets. So this, hello, Museum of Technology and Monuments. Wait a minute, is this the city center, is this? Does this lead to like, the capital and then and, and, and the and the you know the Washington Monument and stuff because I'm not sure I want to go there dog honestly to be frank that's not a place that sounds very friendly um, Lucas Sims called it a quote-unquote war zone I'm, I'm, f frankly, I'm happy with minor skirmishes. Um, <laughs> a full-blown war zone is not something I'm particularly down with. So where does right? This is exit to the American Museum of History and monuments. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Something shooting just very quietly. I didn't notice almost for a second there. Red Roach. Raider. X Raider. Do you have any friends that aren't rad roaches? I'll get out of my face, seriously. Ah, oh, these fucking things. Ah, uh, Switchblade. Anything? Switchblade. Wastelander. Thank you for the random crap. Um, anything in here? Ugh, disgusting. Regular sized cockroaches are bad enough, frankly. What do we got here? Mentats, tiny boy apples, potato crisps, there. I guess I'll have the Mentats. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, charming. To the mall, yeah, again. Hmm, don't really want to go there, it's scary. Hello, Rad X. Thank you very much. Dead Skeleton. Chinese Army Spec Ops Training Manual. Okay. That's got to be worth a read. Cherry Bomb. Ugh, no. Sorry. Keep reading. Very well. I shall continue my quest to find more copies of the Chinese Spec Ops Army Training Manual. 
How the heck did one of those get here? I have to wonder. Um, alcoholism. What does it do then? Minus one agility and minus one charisma. Ugh. And it probably gets worse the longer I go without alcohol, so... I, wouldn't, I don't actually know for certain. Believe it or not, I don't play drug-addicted characters very often in Fallout. At all. I, never, I just never use chems or alcohol. Um, until Jess came along, anyway. So, that's a new area of the game to me. Even after all these years. Okay, right. As as uh, as much as my curiosity is beginning to get the better of me, let's not go to the mall. Let's stick to the plan. Go to Metro Stent Metro Central, which is this way. Also, okay. I thought there was something red on my crosshair. Crosshair? What the hell am I talking about? Uh, compass. There was, however, not. Mm. See, that's not very good. That's probably more like it. Hello? Anything down here waiting to kill me? Just soda balls. My god. <laughs> huh. Too jumpy. Too jumpy. Uh. Oh, good grief. Dog, kill it. Oh, Jesus. Raiders, wonderful. Can I just vats them? Apparently, I can. Oh, my god, there's loads of them. Screw that. I wish I had like a missile ultra or something I could just fire down there. Screw this, crosshairs, iron sights, apparently are for losers. Whew. I think we killed quite a few of them with those nades, luckily. Alright, so we've got ghouls to worry about now. Jesus, look at those things. I think this might be our first cannon, if you want to call it that, encounter with feral ghouls. As far as Jess is concerned. I know we ran across them once before, but we actually got killed immediately afterwards, so it technically doesn't count. Thankfully none of them have risen from the dead. I mean, they're not really technically speaking dead when that happens, but uh, you know what I mean. Road Rascal Leather Armor. Speech minus five. Charisma minus one. <laughs> Infiltrate. Thank you very much. It's in terrible, terrible, terrible condition, but... Well. Look at it. It's, it's... Where the hell is it? There it is. Oh. It's a scoped, silenced SMG, which unfortunately fires my sniper bullets. I think, yeah, oh, bollocks. Never mind. Um, right, running low on ammo for the Garand. Well, there were a lot of you down here, but it looks like my grenades killed a lot of you. Thank God for explosives, yeah, another in 14. Which is tempting, honestly, because apparently I've got a relatively decent amount of ammo for, for one of those. Um... I 
Hello. So they've got a little base here. Please have lots of nice ammunition for me. Pretty, pretty. <gasps> 24 rounds of 5.56. Thank you. Grandpa's a brain tonic. Uh, I guess that's it. Looks like that's it. Sadly. Apart from a few bent tin cans and a plunger. I don't think we'll be needing to unblock many toilets in the foreseeable future, so I think I'll give that a miss. Now, did I miss anyone else? Looks like no. Okay, so there's that. That that maintenance bit there. And it's a good thing that is there because this leads and leads to a dead end. Um, can you? No, you can't turn that off. Hmm. Is there any Vegas where you can turn off the generators? Maybe. Oh my god! What the hell is that? Whatever it is, it's dead, hopefully. As long as it stays dead, I'm fine. Ragnarok the Barbarian. Hey, <laughs> nice. Pfft. Gave me a shock. Rambler. That is just a thing of nightmares. Apparently I can take its fingers if I wanted to. I don't want to, though. Why the hell would I want to? Dear God. Whiskey. <laughs> Not a bad idea right now, honestly. Uh... More beer. That'll be alright. Medical bracer, that's useful. Alright, is this... Glowing buttons, hurrah! <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess I guess the Havoc physics have their moments. Uh, more dead raiders. Not actually, in fact, a good sign. What the hell? Beretta 470 shotgun. Alright. 219 damage versus 164. What type of shotgun is it? Oh, uh, it's a, it's a double-barreled one. Eh. Not so keen on those, honestly. More into the, the pump action variety, or possibly lever action. Something that I don't have to reload every two seconds. Alright, well we've encountered a few feral ghouls, but luckily there wasn't there wasn't a massive horde of the buggers. Ain't hey, nice. More 14mm rounds. Shame I don't have a 14mm pistol to fire them from. God, I remember the 14mm pistol from... Fallout 1. What a beast of a weapon. Ooh. Video frame rate going a bit funky there. Um... Yeah, that was a good gun. I think it might be in this game, because the DKS is in this game, and that was in Fallout 1. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we are, yeah. This thing was in Fallout 1. This was the regular sniper rifle in that game. Um, so I'm hoping the 14mm pistol's in this game, because that would be sweet. Because that was a good gun. More dead raiders. Again. 
not a particularly reassuring sign in actual fact. Oh god, am I really over encumbered? Yep, yeah, looks like I am. Okay, bye bye AK74. Your services are most definitely no longer required. Compass isn't picking anything up. Can you smell anything, dog meat? Oh, I can see some stuff now. Mutant doggies. Oh, yeah. Come on, accuracy. One left. There we go. Don't mind wasting energy cells, they're not. They're, they're fairly plentiful. Vicious dog. Why am I bothering to loot vicious dogs? Seriously, why? Because apparently it leads to somewhere interesting. Locked average. Can I... Damn! Can I blow it open? However. Attempt to breach lock. With... A bottle cap mine. Well, let's give it a 15 second timer. And... Skedaddle! <laughs> 